So, uh, we've looked at the principle of conservation of energy, uh, which involves a change in height. And so the second conservation law we want to look at is the principle of conservation of momentum. And remember, the principle of conservation of momentum occurs or applies when there is an interaction. Okay, an interaction is kind of an odd word, so let's get clear what we mean. Collision, okay, explosion, or a radioactive decay. Okay, so either one of the three of those principle of conservation of momentum. So remember what momentum is, so the symbol is small p, the Greek very seldom use that. Mass by velocity, it is the, it kind of tells the damage something will do, okay? So if you have momentum, it's your, you get your mass multiplied by your velocity. It has no special unit, remember, so it's just the unit for mass, kilograms multiplied by the unit for velocity, meters per second. All right, that's it, done, All right? Okay. That's our definition of momentum. It is a vector because velocity is a vector. It is a vector. Okay, direction is important. Now, the principle of conservation of momentum states that there are no external forces within a closed system. The total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. Okay, that's it. So, you take two bodies. Okay, first body uh, has a, a mass m1, initial velocity u1 before and afterwards a mass still m1 and initial our final velocity b1 second body mass n2 initial velocity u2 afterwards mass m2 final velocity b2 okay that unlike the principle of conservation of energy long formula that one is in the log tables okay so that's that's your starting point always i would suggest always your starting point okay and we just have two cases okay really we have a case where uh, the body where there's a collision and with the case where there's an explosion because an explosion and decay are the same thing okay so it, it, they will be the same thing the explosion and decay the, the important thing the difference there is that the total momentum before is zero okay because the object is stopped explodes okay or you have a nucleus that is at rest and it decays which is the same as an explosion right so so that would be the situation. But I would still use write that formula down and then put zero equals afterwards. So we're going to just do two examples, okay, just to make sure we're clear on them. Two examples, right? First example, okay. Uh, okay, so let's look at what I've written. So a body of mass four kilograms traveling at three meters per second collides with a second body of mass eight kilograms. The first body rebounds with a velocity of one meter per second while the final velocity of the second body, okay? First of all, you look and say, this is a collision. And then you say, this is the principle of conservation momentum. And then you say, okay, I'm going to write my list and I'm going to write down my formula. And it may well be at this stage that you pass the question. Okay. You know it's principle of conservation momentum and you know the formula. Well done. Okay. Second step, we're going to write down everything. So body of mass, four kilograms. So we'll just put it over here. And also if you don't do this, but uh, this would be the default option. Velocity, traveling at 3 meters per second, and we're going to take that as the plus direction. Collides with a second body of mass 8 kilograms. Uh, <coughs> right, I've left something out here. Okay, I'm going to put in traveling in the same direction at 2 meters per second. Okay. So body of mass 4 kilograms traveling at 3 meters per second collides with a second body of mass 8 kilograms traveling in the same direction at 2 meters per second. Okay, so that's traveling at, sorry, U2, it's traveling at uh, 2 meters per second. Yeah. Right, so it catches up. Okay, so the first body is catching up, the second body hitting it, but it, when it hits it, it rebounds. Okay. So the first body rebounds at a velocity of one meter per second. So the first body, no, its final velocity is, it has rebounded. So it's going in the opposite direction. So this is the crucial point, it's minus. So you have minus one. And you're asked for the velocity of the second body. Okay. All right, so I'll be clear on that. Pause it if you need to, and have a look at it. Okay, so we have our data. So all we're doing now is just filling it in. Okay, so we have four times uh, three plus eight times two equals uh, minus, uh, sorry, four times minus one plus eight times V2. So we have 12 plus 16 equals minus four plus eight V2. So we have 28 equals uh, minus four 
plus 8v. So 28 plus 4, 32 equals 8v. So v is 4 meters per second. So it continues to travel in the same direction, but is now traveling at 4 meters per second. Okay. <coughs> the momentum before was 28. Total momentum after is 28. Okay. The momentum after, if you look at it, it has a, um, this is a momentum of minus 4 because it's in the opposite direction, and this is a momentum of plus 32.